basically a policy style envelope. I cut out the window and put in acetate, but I also went ahead and made this a flip right here so that it could house the little tiny lights that I could turn on. You can see the back. I did some lacing here uh, with some seam binding just by punching holes. And this is just a smaller version of the policy. Um, the traditional policy style will fold over uh, each other. Uh, this one I did a little bit different. And then you can kind of see the lights there lit up inside. And that's another option. So another quick thing that I want to mention to you is that you can reuse little plastic bags that you get or the cellophane bags that uh, you get all your scrapbooking uh, materials from Country Craft Creations in and this I just put some sequins inside of it and I'm going to be using some double-sided tape um, so that it's already housed inside of the acetate or the cellophane here. Um, and then one last thing is with this example, you don't have to put lights in here. Um, and if you would like to put something like a tag for a card, you can do that as well. So that it would be able to slide right down in there and then you can pull the card right out. So I hope that you enjoy this tutorial. Now I am going to be making my um, example a vertical one this time. So my, and this is directional paper, so I'm going to be measuring first eight inches. Cut that. Eight inches. And then my second cut is going to be for nine inches. And we're going to place our paper with the eight inches at the top and we are going to score at half an inch okay and then six and a half inches so half an inch and six and a half inches on the eight inch side then you're going to rotate your paper so that the nine inches is at the top and you're going to score at two and a half, two and a half, and six and a half. And that is our scoring. Now we're going to fold our paper on those score lines. Just burnish it. You're going to see that this overlaps when you fold it over. Okay, so we have the half inch down here, we're going to get our scissors and we're going to cut out this half inch just up to the score. And then the same thing on the other side. We're going to cut off that half an inch. Okay. And then up here at the top, we're also going to cut off this inch and a half up here. I am cutting off and including the score line in that cut so that I've also cut the score line. Okay, so now you can see If you want to round your corners, now is the time to do it. Now, before we put this together, we want to go ahead and cut out our window. 
So if you have a ruler that shows you some lines on it that you know how to use, that would be good. Or you can use some of your little tools. The point is that we want to get an edge cut out and I'm going to use three quarter inch spacer and all I'm doing is I'm going to use a pencil and I'm going to draw a line for that three quarters of an inch. If you want to use half an inch, you can use half an inch, but I am just lining this up with my score line. So now I have a window inside. Now, what I should have told you is to make sure whatever you're going to use, if you want to use um, a baggie for your um, sequins or your little shaker bits, make sure that your window is going to be um, large enough. Okay. Or, or small enough that you don't cut off too much. I am not going to be doing that. I'm going to be using this tag instead. Now that I've cut out my window, I will put down some double-sided tape around the outside of it. I have some packaging here. Make sure to burnish my double sided tape. Here's a tip if you have any sticky bits that are left. You can use that little um, cornstarch pad. Okay, so with my policy envelope, we're going to be folding this over like this. So again, I'm going to use double-sided tape. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to place it here along the edge on the outside and then one here on the inside okay now I'm not going to take this off yet because I want to figure out what photo I want to be showing if you're going to place a photo on the inside, okay? If you're doing a tag, then and just do a dry fit of your tag. And another thing is if you um, only want your tag to go down so far, you may also want to go ahead and close up the bottom a little bit, which I think is what I'm going to do. So that the tag doesn't go all the way down to the bottom. Oh, and I also forgot this is going to be the last piece, so this little half inch right here 
needs some tape as well. So it's going to go like this, close up like that, and then like this. Okay. Now, be another thing which I always seem to forget is if you want to do some distressing with your distress ink, do it before you put the acetate down. Or you'll be doing kind of like I'm doing now. Start taking these double sided pieces off. I'm first going to burnish that one down because this is on that outside, and then I'm going to take these off and I'm going to fold this over on itself. burnish that down and then I'm going to take off that little half inch strip and fold it up and burnish that down and now I have my little policy envelope and you can see the bottom of it stops that tag right where I needed it to okay Start dressing up your tags. Making this a fun little card. This is another little tip. When I'm doing my uh, seam binding, if I want it scrunched up, I will spray it with my water spritzer bottle, scrunch it up, and then you can easily stick a pin through it to keep it scrunched up and then let it dry and then when you take the pin out you get all the wrinkles which is what I wanted to see okay so that's my card and I had made just a little belly band on that and a little stopper right here. 
So that, that will slide in there. And I think what I'm going to do is roll the edge of this. Let's see, my little pencil. So I'm trying to stress it a little bit. there but now with that you can do the decorating okay let's move on to the second one um, we'll do a horizontal um, envelope and we will do the tie closure on the back so that's option two is the lacing now again, if you have directional paper, you want to make sure to pay attention to that. Um, I am going to be doing this cut so that the height of this is 7 inches. And the length is going to be 8 inches. That way, I'm going to stick this aside. So we want to use this sheet, this was our first cut, for the second piece of paper. Okay, so set this one aside and let's use this piece right here that we are going to cut down to 5 and 7 eighths. 5 and 7 eighths, which is the 1 eighth less than 6. And then I'm going to cut it to three and seven eighths. Three and seven eighths. Okay, I'm going to set this aside. Move these out of the way. We should have these two pieces. I'm going to bring in the scoreboard. Okay, we're going to start with this one first. And we are going to score that with the eight inches at the top you're going to score at half an inch and then you're going to score at six and a half okay and you're going to turn it and we're going to score it with the seven inches at the top at one and a half inches and five and a half inches. Okay, and the second piece doesn't get any scoring.
Okay, so now I have this placed in here. What I want to do is I want to make sure that at the top, when this closes, it's going to be even here. And then I'm going to fold this back up while holding this down. I'm going to take this double-sided tape off and I'm going to fold that over. And this creates a little hinge right here. Okay? Just like that. So I'm taking my little baggie and I'm putting some sequins in. Okay, so I am going to cut this photo down just a hair. Now that gets folded over and then we will lace this up. Thank you. 